Good morning, everybody. So this is the second time I've shot this video. So anyway, let me just adjust this camera real quick. All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about the ways that I save money on groceries. And it's like five hacks that I use all the time and I just wanna explain how you can use them, what to look for. All right, so we're gonna go through average newspaper circular for a supermarket, in this case, shop break. All right, so number one, Every week, your local supermarket, doesn't matter how big or how small it is, is gonna do what's called a loss leader. So this week, I noticed that my supermarket had this really amazing deal on Gala Apples, organic, 99 cents. That is what we call a loss leader. Loss leaders are where the store is making a very small margin on the product but they want to get you into the store. So they kind of entice you by putting out this great deal. Okay, so, and they're gonna be weekly. You'll notice they're weekly and they tend to be seasonal. Like with that case with that fruit, apples are starting to come in in Oregon and Washington state. That's why they're able to do that. Um, they're gonna still be very marginal. Um, like mar it's still gonna be a really marginal amount that they make off that product, but they're still gonna make money. Number two is the loyalty cards, which again, if you look at that, they actually have a picture of their loyalty card right there. So they want to encourage you to get their loyalty card. It's a marketing device. They're able to data mine it. They're able to figure out what you're buying, who's buying, the ages, the places where people live, all of that information. So another thing that you're going to want to use is coupons. Now, I love coupons. I use all of them. A lot of stores now have digital coupons and then they also have things like this this is a store coupon it's a super coupon it's on specific products the fine print usually reads you have to spend a certain amount of money it's another way of getting you into the store and then if you look at this circular my store is really trying to encourage people to sign up for digital savings and look at this they're offering like free coffee if you clip the digital coupon and come in on Wednesday through Saturday and get this deal so that's another thing that they're doing. Um, as far as paper coupons, I'll put the link below. If you don't want to buy papers, you can print your coupons from coupons.com, which is an online service. Uh, it's going to cost you on the back end in ink. And I actually tend to favor the paper coupons that you get in the newspaper because a lot of them are, are a higher dollar amount than the ones that you can print. So just keep that in mind. Catalinas. Okay, this is, a, this is a question I always get. I get two questions. Why is it called Catalina, which is weird, because the marketing agency that came up with this idea, they were on a boat off of Catalina Island. So they decided to call the, the slip you get a Catalina. All right, this is a Catalina deal. Okay, see, specifics of it. You spend 20, you get $5 back on your next purchase, which can be used on any item, not just these products. Okay, so Catalina deals. The Catalina is that little white machine that's usually next to the cash register and spits out those kind of odd paper coupons that look are on a really slim piece of paper and everything. Um, so Catalinas are another kind of marketing thing. It's usually, you'll notice a lot of the products are new products or it's deals like this. Catalina deals combined with coupons and rebates, which we'll talk about rebates apps in a minute, can save you a ton of money. And Catalina deals are usually on household items like cleaning supplies. I always see them on baby supplies, especially diapers, and I always see them on pet food. Purina does a couple of these a year on pet food and you can score some really good deals. Also personal care items like these. That's what you usually see Catalinas on. I do see them on food, like I got a Catalina when I bought some cereal a couple weeks ago. That's something that you definitely can, you'll see Catalinas on um, like something really specific, like General Mills cereal. Like that's it, nothing else, just the cereal, you know, or just Cheerios, something like that. So they're, I mean, they're a good deal to have. So another thing you can use are rebate apps. And I love these, they've been a game changer. They are, uh, with the advent of smartphones, they're another way to save money on your grocery bill, and I love them. There are two main kinds. There are rebates where you literally get a cash rebate and it goes into a wallet and at a certain amount of money you can cash out. Uh, this would include Ibotta, 
Saving Star, and Checkout 51. Checkout 51 and Saving Star <clears throat> are the same company. So keep in mind, I'm going to explain them a little bit in a minute. And at some point in time, I am going to do an app video because the apps are really one of the best way to save money. And, and everybody has smartphones now, right? So it's pretty easy to do. Um, the other kind are gift card. So they're digital gift cards. So that would be Fetch and that would be, um, um, oh my gosh, what's their name? <laughs> I can't, Swag Bucks, I'm sorry. Wow, man, I hate it when I do that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put the links to everybody down below. And like I said, I am gonna do another whole video about the apps because there are particulars with these apps. Now, like Checkout 51 and Saving Star are the same company. Saving Star, you link to your loyalty card at CVS, Walgreens, and your local supermarket. So you don't really have to do anything. As soon as you purchase the product, it triggers it, but you do have to decide to purchase the project, uh, product and click the rebate before you buy it. And you need about a 24 hour lead time. Um, whereas Checkout 51, you upload the receipt, but you also need to make sure the rebate's available and you need to click it before you buy it. So that's where these get a little more interesting. That's why I said I'm gonna do a local, I'm gonna do a more specific um, video on these apps. But those are the big five. So again, the big five are look for your loss leaders. What's super cheap this week? Like how is the supermarket making money on that? That's so cheap, that's a loss leader. Number two, get the loyalty card. Swipe that card, you're gonna save more than the average Joe who just walked in to buy a couple things off the street and doesn't have the loyalty card. Coupons. If you don't want to clip coupons, look for the digitals. Not only are there, all of the stores now have digital coupons, but then you also have these rebates that are also digital. I mean, you can combine all this stuff and save a lot of money. Catalinas, if you have kids, you need to start looking for the Catalina deals, combine them with coupons because you're gonna pay less than that, like that $20 I just showed you. If you have coupons for all those products, you still get the Catalina, even if you end up not paying the full $20, you're still gonna get the $5 coupon because the original amount before coupons is what triggers that Catalina to come out of the machine. So if you have kids, if you buy a lot of pet products, look for these Catalina deals. They're gonna save you a lot of money. You can combine them with coupons and rebates and everything else. It's a lot of savings. And then the last is the rebate apps. Like I said, I'll put the links below. I will do a whole nother video about rebate apps and how great they are and how to use them and their kind of their idiosyncrasies. But for now, those are the big five. And I would also throw in a sixth honorable mention. I'd say consider stockpiling. When you see things that you know you use a lot, buy them when they're at their cheapest. Put them in the basement, wherever, and just keep them. You know, pasta, canned stuff. Just this is a great way to save money on groceries so that you're not spending so much money every week. You have a little bit of a pantry for your backup. So those are my big five and my sixth honorable mention. So please like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, do all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. And uh, thanks. Bye.